Hey there, it's Trisha, and um, sorry that I haven't been doing the videos lately. I've just been occupied with a bunch of other stuff, um, holiday, family in town, and so forth, getting the um, chat room up and going. Um, at first, you know, we we're just offering it to the people who purchased the ebook, and um, you yeah, know, we'll get squared away and get used to each other and so forth. And then um, I'll let everybody else know that it's available, but still, it will just be available to the people who. Um, purchase the ebook so this way everyone will be on the same page with setups but anyway we use two setups using three charts with indicators and um, we require confirmation on our charts before we ever take a trade so the market um, as of you know the last couple weeks has been difficult um, because it's just been up and down up and down up and down and then you get one breakout and then um, you know we've been missing it because we haven't had a place to jump on board so what I've been doing is refining our scalp trade setup and um, finishing the back testing on that this weekend so um, I'll send out a revised ebook to everybody who bought it once I finish with the back testing this weekend um, but with that said what you're looking at now is our longer tick chart and um, you know someone in the room has been trading um, using our setup but what he's been doing is not been drilling down on our longer, excuse me, on our smaller tick chart. So obviously you'd have to have a larger stop. Um, but if you look in the ebook, it's under setup number one. So when you get a trend break, a trend line break, um, you would enter and um, above the high or lower that bar, and your stop would be the high or lower that bar, depending on which way you're going. So um, you know, everything else is still in alignment according to um, you know, the description that we have in the ebook for setup number one um, except in this case we didn't drill down on our 200 tick chart to get in um, but we can go over more of that in the next um, you know few videos and so forth um, but the thing was is that in drilling down on this particular day today there was no place to jump on board so anyway with that said you get a trend line break here you jump on and basically you're just trailing your stop all the way up and you get stopped out here um, you would have got in at 844 and stopped out using the low of the previous bar of um, right here you would have got stopped out here 852.75 for a gain of eight and three quarters mind you the stop would have started out at um, four and a half so you know just something to keep in mind as well um, another setup occurred here at um, it was like 2.15 when this bar completed and broke out above this um, trend line break and you would have had a gain of two and a quarter there um, this one here somebody at lunchtime um, in the room was thinking they were going to get in at the break of that um, trend line there but the thing is is that that was right around 12 o'clock so you always have to be careful around 12 o'clock also our indicator never got into alignment um, to take that trade um, so topping tail, topping tail, topping tail, and then it finally dropped. So anyway, um, you know, working on refining the scalp um, scalp trade entry to basically accommodate us, you know, in stuff like this all day long, and then you finally get a break. You know, all day long, and you finally get a break. And the thing about um, you know the way that we trade using our um, smaller tick chart is that we're always paying attention to our reference areas um, our highs our lows and our closes of regular cash market and after hours market as well so in trading the smaller tick chart um, and getting sideways action all day most days you know it's been keeping us out of a lot of trades and then just no way to jump on so you know what I'm working on now for our scalp trade um, in refining it should allow us more opportunities to jump on a moving market. So anyway, um, that was for today, April 22nd, and um, you know, hopefully I will keep up with the videos, and I apologize for that. But anyway, you can go to www.easyeminitrade.com.